OpenAI unveiled its latest and most advanced model called uh, GPT-40. This is a much more advanced model compared to the previous uh, GPT-4. The O here stands for Omni model because it is able to uh, do visual visual and audio extremely good and a lot more other things. If you're not seen the, um, the release video from OpenAI, I highly recommend you to go and check it out. With it, they also unveiled and basically released a Mac app for ChatGPT, which can do a lot of really cool things. And that's what we'll be looking at in today's video, seeing how you can download it and use it. Well, if you want to do that, well, first of all, let's directly jump in. Head over to chatgpt.com uh, or yeah, as we have it here. Here you can actually, I've already logged in. Uh, go ahead and log it in if you have not. Here we can see that we have all the models here. GPT-40, GPT-4, this, uh, this will not be shown to free users, but GPT-40 is actually uh, available for everybody. It's available for free users as well. You don't have to be a paid um, subscriber. The only difference between the free version and the paid version is that on the paid version, you get five times more limit. So for downloading the Mac app, uh, if you go to a login for the first time, it will actually show you a message box here saying that there is a new app for ChatGPT. Uh, go ahead and download it. Uh, keep in mind that this is only available for Mac. It is not available for Windows at the moment. Uh, it will come, the Windows version will come out sometime next year. If you don't see it here, uh, there is a link in the forums. In fact, I'll be providing this link to download uh, the ChatGPT app in the description box below. So you can actually directly download it from here. So go ahead and click this and you can download it. Since I've already downloaded it, I'm going to go to my downloads here and simply going to open this. We have the ChatGPT installer and simply go ahead and drag it into the applications folder. So I have already done this. So I can simply go here and open ChatGPT here. And we have everything here. Our entire ChatGPT app is here. I can actually select the model from here, GPT-40, and close it here. So we can write and it's pretty much how you would expect um, the normal web app to be. You also have the option of the audio. In fact, audio is one of the biggest things in ChatGPT 4.0. Uh, this audio version, the one currently we have right now, at least as of um, 15th May, it has not been released to uh, the general public. It is coming out in the next couple of weeks, the more advanced model, but you can still use it here. But what makes this really cool, uh, the latest app is they have a launcher for it. So I'm going to click option and spacebar. So it directly brings in uh, the message chat GPT. You can directly talk to it. So I can say, how are you? Hope everything is good. Something like that, and it directly opens it. And uh, as you can see, it is like obviously much, much faster than before. I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna show you one more thing. So I click option spacebar again. And here you can actually have the option of uploading files uh, you can upload photos, take screenshots of the entire screen or take a photo. Let me just click on take a photo here. It just shows myself. I can simply take a picture and say, what can you see? So it's going to show this. Yes. Uh, if when you, um, when you're taking a picture, it shows you, uh, it will ask you for additional permissions. If you don't see that, what you can do is, you have to head over to uh, settings, click on uh, privacy and security, go on camera and allow ChatGPT here. Since I've already done it, um, you can just go ahead and turn this on. You can do a lot more things. I'm again pressing option and spacebar taking entire screenshots. In fact, I don't have to be in my home screen. I can actually go to any page here and go ahead and take a screenshot. It just says I can do this. It has taken a screenshot automatically and you can ask things with it. In my opinion, this is uh, such a cool feature. One other thing which I wanted to show about is um, they showed it on their website is that you can do a lot of different really cool things. Um, in fact, in, in this one, they're showing a poem and it seems like if somebody has handwritten this poem. One other very cool thing which I found out, found out is like the 3D object. It is able to generate 3D objects with a simple prompt, which is absolutely 
uh, incredible in my opinion in fact they didn't even talk about this uh, during their um, uh, keynote but you can definitely do this and you can do a lot of uh, cool things uh, specifically this 3d generation it is not available yet it is going to come out in the next couple of weeks and also the voice uh, model is also coming out in the next couple of weeks the one the really cool the one that sounds like her from the movie her so it was actually incredible if you have any issues with this uh, do drop a comment below uh, i pretty much answer all the comments so yeah this was the tutorial